this video I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress child theme. You should use a child theme if your theme doesn't come with one or doesn't have a custom CSS because when you make changes to your site to customize it and make it your own and then you go on ahead and update your theme you can lose all of those changes and tweaks and you've spent time and hours making your site look the way you want it you don't want to lose all your tweaks and customizations uh, so you should uh, use a child theme to prevent that from happening so what we're gonna do is navigate to our WordPress admin the dashboard and go to appearance and themes and that's where you find a list of all the themes currently installed for the purpose of this video I'm going to use the 2016 which is the latest free theme from WordPress and we're going to create a child theme for 2016 so that's what I currently have installed this is the 2016 theme pretty much bare bones I'm just using it for this video so what we're gonna do is go on ahead to our uh, control panel and you go to your file manager click on file manager and navigate to where you have your WordPress uh, installed we go to WP content and themes and you'll see a list of all your themes you can also do this by uh, FTP if you don't have access to your control panel so we're going to create a new folder for the child theme called 2016 child okay and now we need a style.css file so we're going to go ahead and hit new file style.css we're going to create that and of course it's empty so we're going to go to the parent which is the 2016 and look for the style.css right here and grab what we need from there and it's going to be this first bit the header until it's commented out right over there and we're going to copy that exit out of there and go back to our child theme style.css and we're going to paste that in there now what we need to do is change the theme name see where it says theme name right here we're going to call that 2016 child and we this is very important template we have to add template and this is the name of the parent theme folder so we're going to say 2016 and it's all lowercase because this is case sensitive so don't just grab it from here because this has uppercase and a space you want to use it as it appears in the folder the name of the folder and I'll show you what I mean in a minute now description and all that you can leave uh, if you want to edit it that's fine for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna leave it theme name template and we have our style uh, we have our style that CSS file now what we need to add now is a functions that PHP so we go to new file and functions that PHP and create a file and of course it's blank so I want to grab the code I have another child theme here so I'm just gonna grab the code from here and paste it into the functions.php now this code is going to be made available to you so we go back here to our child and paste that in the functions.php and this is basically just telling it to grab it's a, you're adding an action which is telling it to grab all the styles parent style from the parent uh, theme if not uh, it doesn't look quite right you can use an at import in the style.css but for the purpose of this we're using the functions that PHP it works fine it's usually stable uh, you can have problems but 
you know, most of the time, it, you know, it's going to work. So, uh, that's your child theme. If we come on over here, we now have a child theme called 2016 child. Okay, we can go ahead and activate that. We don't have a screenshot, we'll get to that in a minute, but if you see, we'll refresh our site, it's exactly the same. And so we have a child theme. Now, say you want a screenshot, we're just going to upload a screenshot. That's done. Now you have a screenshot. It's screenshot.png. Now if you go to your themes, you should see a screenshot right over there. We have a screenshot and everything is fine and everything is done and you have a WordPress child theme. I'm just going to take you through some stuff again uh, with the template. Make sure you use the name you see here of the folder of the parent theme. If yours has an uppercase, then you use uppercase because you can do this with any theme. I'm going to make these files available to you, the functions that PHP styled at CSS. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link below, go to the blog post and download it. Uh, you can also do this, as I said, uh, with FTP. If you have an FTP client like FileZilla, which is free, uh, you can just upload your uh, style.css and your functions.php and your screenshot.png. Now, say you don't have access to uh, Control Panel or FTP. Of course, you could use a uh, text uh, editor and, you know, edit your style.css, uh, the functions that PHP, you know, you don't have to edit that. You can just use what I provide for you anyway, and you zip those up into uh, a zip file with the name of uh, your child theme. So in this case, it's 2016 dash child dot zip okay and I'm gonna show you I already zipped that up so let's say I didn't have access to that I could have done it in a note in in the in a text editor zipped it up and just upload it through here so I'm gonna go on ahead and uh, activate another theme so I can show you and I'm gonna delete that one that we just created and I'm just going to add the theme as if I created it in a text editor or whatever your editor of choice 2016-child the zip install that it says this theme requires a parent theme it checks if it's installed everything is okay so it was installed successfully and you can go ahead and activate and there you have it. It's right there. So you have three ways you can do this. Control panel, FTP, or do it just uh, with a text editor, create a zip file, and upload it through your WordPress admin area. And uh, there you have it. That's how you create a child theme for WordPress. It's definitely not as complicated as some people think. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching this video. You can follow me on Twitter at NYCWebDude. Same for Instagram. Or you can check me out on Facebook. My Facebook page, NYCWebDudeOfficial. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.